ancient Helen read. We took a class today on the neuroscience behind conversations. It's called conversational intelligence, and it was really interesting to see just what kinds of forms of communication there are. There's actually three different levels of conversations. There's the ask and tell conversation, there's the advocate and acquire conversation, and the, my personal favorite, share and discover conversation. So um, each different level of conversation brings different emotions and different neurological triggers. So that includes you know, the stressors like cortisol or oxytocin. It comes with the excitement and the, the positive aspects of emotions. I learned a little bit more about my conversation style and how to approach people that have a different conversational style, whether they're communicating more with their emotions and you how to react or engage in a conversation like that to prevent any form of conflict. It was really stimulating and the teacher who, who presented this beautiful piece of information gave us a, a book to read called Conversational Intelligence written by Judith Glacier. It's pretty much the premise of, of her entire presentation, which was very interesting. So if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about communications, whether it's how to communicate with various forms of communication styles, or just to become a better leader so that you can coach others and communicate more effectively in general. For me, I am super well-rounded and I wanted to be able to communicate well for myself and for my success, but also to deliver those communications in my marketing collateral from a marketing consulting perspective. So check out the book, I'm gonna put it in the comments and tell me what's your favorite style or your preferred style of communicating and your conversations. Are you ask and tell? advocate and inquire or share and discover. Let me know guys. See you later. Bye.